Would the automation of our society have an impact on human evolution? Well, I think to answer that question, we have to start with understanding what evolution involves, but also how it evolves in a context. So we never just evolve as a species independent of our environment. It's always intimately connected to everything around us, the species that surround us, the environment in which we live, and of course, the technology that is part of our lives. So if you think about where we are at the moment and where we are in the history of human evolution, we are only recently in a hyper-technological era where we see the impacts of technology transform how we think about ourselves, how we engage with each other, how we start to engage with the world around us. Think about something like this. Imagine being always connected to your virtual reality headset where all your interactions are based on that world. It's not so different from where we are at the moment with our mobile phones. And we know that using mobile phones affects not just our day-to-day -day lives, but also those social configurations around us, the sorts of things that transform our interactions with each other. And all of these elements contribute to how we evolve as a species. Now, it might take a long time for those to have big impacts on who we are as a species, but there are some huge things that are changing around us that you may not be familiar with. So we're beginning to see the creation of nano-sized devices that can be implanted into our bodies and have an impact on our biology. It may affect the sorts of genes that we pass on to next generations. So digital technology, automation, all these things are intimately connected. They're never just single things. They're all part of a bigger whole that we talk about as evolution. So when you think about technology, when you think about those robots that are emerging, that surround us in our lives, that care for us, that work for us, that take our jobs, all of these things affect the sorts of things that humans do. It goes back to the film Wall-E, which you may remember, humans are depicted as these beings that have no capacity to move because they've not had to move forever because machines have done everything for them. And the future of automation could be a bit like this, but I'm a bit more optimistic too. I think that in fact, the creation of robots, of machines that do things for us will free us up to evolve differently. The integration of technology with our own bodies will allow us to go beyond human evolutionary. The kind of trajectory that we're on the moment could be massively augmented by bringing in these new technologies. So far from limiting us, or damaging us. I think technology will make us better as people. So yes, all this stuff is going to transform who we are, what we care about, how we relate to each other, but all of that can be for the better. It can push us into a new era of telecommunication where we're able to neurologically interface with each other, to know what each other are feeling and thinking just by having that cognitive capacity. It's not just about trying to make things more efficient, it's about trying to go beyond the limits of human functionality. Some of the best designers at the moment are working on implants that will give us the kind of sensorial capacities that other animals enjoy, or even the transformative potential that animals have, like regeneration of, of limbs or parts of our bodies that when they currently come to an end, have no capacity to grow back. So a lot of the transformations that are happening through technology are looking to nature to find new ways of evolving. And it's a heck of a gamble because of course, we still don't know a great deal about who we are as a species or indeed what the impact of things like our genes or our genome is on our long-term survivability. But, and this is a very big but, we know that also our time on planet Earth is limited. It might be limited to a few billion years, but it's still limited. So we need to think about how we evolved and hopefully evolve in a way that allows us to continue surviving as a species. But by the point we get to where that is necessary, we will have transformed so much that even our idea of human evolution will have been dramatically altered by these technologies.